Good morning, my name is Chris Fox, and my god, the beard is taking over, I need to shave. Anyway, I have a quick tip this morning, how to improve your writing. I know that sounds very general, but it's going to be a very specific tip, and you're going to get two for the price of one. I am often asked how to improve your writing, how to make it better, how has my writing gotten better over time. A reader recently remarked that they read through the Void Race series, and from book one to book six, they saw a massive change in my craft that I got a lot better. And he wanted to know, like, the prose specifically, how am I improving my writing? And there are two ways that I'm doing that. The first is using stronger verbs. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say Joanne walked to the counter. That tells us very little. Joanne crept to the counter. Tells us something very different. You picture her posture differently. She's probably trying to avoid being heard. She might be crouched down a little bit. She's probably, you know, very observant of her surroundings and worried. You may even infer lighting from that. If I say crept, you might think it's dark until you're told otherwise. The, the point being, the reader is going to supply a whole different set of information between walked and crept. What if we change it to sprinted or, or ambled or, you know, choose your flavor of the word walk, sauntered? All of them mean something different and tell us something immediately different. If she's sauntering, why is she sauntering? If she's creeping, why is she creeping? You get so much bang for your buck when you change that single word in a sentence. So work on stronger verbs. I'd recommend go through an entire chapter or an entire story. And, and as you're going through the manuscript, to look at every common verb. And when I say common, I mean get, feel, thought, walked, stuff like that. And ask yourself, is there a better replacement? And it's important to note, the answer is not always yes. Sometimes you need to use the word walked. You know, sometimes that just fits. But you want to make that choice. And you don't want to just use it every time. You don't want to go through an entire story and say, you know, Joe walked here and then, you know, Sue walked here and then, you know, Bert did this. You, you want stronger verbs as often as possible. And then when you do use the common verbs, they stand out a little more because they're less common in your writing. Anyway, that is the first half of the tip. The second half, though, I feel is equally necessary because I, I have someone that I talked to who wanted to avoid repetition in addition to, you know, having stronger writing. And the way to do that is cadence. So going back to our Joanne example, if Joe crept to the counter, now Joe thinks something or Joe feels something like a sensory observation. So, you know, Joe shivered as the temperature in the room dropped. Joe wondered if she was going to survive the next few minutes. So what you're seeing is I'm adding additional layers that are deepening this character, not just saying the same thing where Joe did this, Joe did that, Joe did the next thing. In the first one, we're inside Joe's head and we're experiencing the setting through her. In the second, we're just sort of mechanically recounting what Joe did. So try to vary what you're doing. You can do, you know, a descriptive phrase and then a thought and then an action and then maybe some dialogue. But don't try to describe scene after scene after scene. Put yourself in it and ask yourself as you're going through that scene, how would this character react? Um, how would it influence their mental state? Would they become agitated? How would that express itself internally? So just to sum up the tip, so it's in an actionable way, strengthen your verbs. And when you're done strengthening your verbs, check your cadence. Do you have paragraphs of entire exposition where it's Joe did this, Joe did that, Joe did the next thing? If it is, can you break it up and put in some thoughts, some feelings, maybe even some dialogue? See what you can do to vary that cadence. And if you do both of these things, that will definitely improve your writing. Or at least it's improved my writing immeasurably. And there's lots of other stuff we can do. But as simple as the tip that I just described sounds... Putting it into practice is much more difficult and is something I've been doing my entire career and will do for the rest of it. Always looking for better verbs. Anyway, guys, I do need to get back to the writing, so I will see you next week.